Alrighty guys, so you guys asked for it, so I'll give it to you. Alright, so today what we are going to do is we are going to test out the M12 Stubby with a quarter inch hex collet anvil that I made. Because, like I said in previous videos, what I did is I took this uh, anvil and put it into the M18 impact driver. This is model number 2853-20. And this is model number 255P-20, 12 volt system. We will be using a 6 amp hour battery. And so, yes, the max RPM is 2,700 and the max impacts per minute is 3,200. This does have uh, three speed settings. And so, yeah, so let's, uh, I did uh, burn the light out in my first couple of videos. So I put a blue light on there because I can. And so, yeah, so let's, uh, let's see what this could actually do. Alrighty, so first we are going to try out a 6 inch spec. So let's time this and see how well this actually does. I have plenty of room on this log. So we'll do this right here. What I'm mainly curious about is how uh, the comfort level when it comes to this because, you know, it's a lot of power going into uh, a little lag with, you know, like with an extension. So let's see how comfortable this is as well. Ready? Go. Time. Oh, like I said, 6 amp hour battery. Battery is full. I love that blue light. It actually is bright too. It actually is bright. Do the opposite this time. Let's use an extension on my modified M18 impact uh, driver. You know, this one that has the, the quarter inch hex, an the, this one has a half inch anvil, so I put an adapter on there. Let's have this drive in a lag and let's comp uh, drive in a spax and let's compare the time. And we're going to we're going to do one more test with a four inch lag. See now this one has the extension. Let's see if we lose a little bit of power. It is on speed three six amp hour high output battery because that's just what's laying around right now. All right, so ready, go. Time. Oh, like they sh they should really should make a version like this and then make but what they should also do is make a version of this adapter uh, that's a lot more solid in there and it's not wobbly and so they should make uh, one that's really tight so like but like make a half inch impact driver with a professional adapter that's what I think they should do all right so let's take this out ready it's on speed three just so you guys know ready go Time. Not I, I yeah, it's not even close. Not even close. But this is not a versus video. This was this was my curiosity. This was just my curiosity. All right, ready? Go. Wow. Let's uh, we're just gonna put the M18 impact driver aside. Let's continue using the impact wrench. Let's do one timber lock. All right, so ready? Go. Time. It might be it might be slow, but it's not working that hard. All right, let's take it out. All right, ready? Go. That is cool, though. I like that. I do like this, like that. I really do be able to use this because the tool is not working hard and it's getting the job done because it's it's the tools overpowered for these tasks all right so we are going to do one more test with the m18 impact driver we are going to do uh uh one four inch lag each and then we're going to do one six inch lag with just the stubby and uh after testing this out for a while i did learn that when doing these tests Using the 3 8 inch is actually better than using a half inch uh, because the, these, for some reason, these are lasting a lot longer than the half inches do. So the 3 8 inch are lasting a lot longer than the half inch. Which So I'll be using 3 8 inch adapters for now on, which is why I'm using uh, this heart socket instead of an impact rated socket because I got to get... 3 8 inch impact rated sockets now because the, the so much better. Ready? Go. <laughs> Time. 
time. It did it. It did it. All right, so let's get out the M18. Go. Oh, that's completely split the wood. Redo that a little bit closer. That was surprising, actually. All right, so right here is good. All right, so ready? Go. Wow. Time. That, that was a little crazy. That was. That, like, this modification is amazing. All right, so let's uh, take it out with the uh, stubby. All right, so ready, go. Time. That base isn't big enough. All right, let's take it out with the M18 impact driver. Ready, go. Oh, sorry, that was speed one. That went to. All right, ready, go. Time. That's a beast. This is a beast. It really is. All right, and for the final test, we are just going to do one uh, six inch lag with the stubby. All right, so ready, go. Time. Time, time, time. All right, so let's take it out. All right, so ready, go. <coughs> time. And the battery is down to three bars. So when it comes to this tool, I seriously love it that it does have that collet on there because that, I'm amazed on how well that 3 8 inch adapter is doing because a uh, half inch would have broke by now. So far, the, so recently, so far, this is the longest lasting adapter that I, that I own. This lasted like about six videos so far. So yeah, the 3 8 is, do, is doing well. But yeah, this tool is great. You know, it, I, I'll leave it in the comments below if you think that uh, having that quarter inch, quarter inch collet is degrading the tool because I might just buy another anvil and put the anvil back in, the half inch anvil back in because that's what this originally was. And so yeah, but uh, it is great to be able to do screws and all that stuff with an impact wrench. It might be not, might not be as fast as an impact driver, but you know, it, you do the tool is working less, so it might it'll probably be able to work longer with being cooler. You know, it won't get as hot as fast because that, that tool is still cold. So I just, this was, this was an experiment video. I just wanted to see on how well this actually did with that collet because I did this a while ago and I didn't do a video on it. And so, yeah, this quarter inch text collet anvil is from the M18 impact driver. It, that fits in there perfectly. It's nice and snug with the, uh, with the O-ring keeping the oil in, keeping the grease in when it warms up. And so, yeah, once again, this is model number 255P-20. And so, yeah, so that's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.